This video is sponsored by Sketchfab. Stick around to see how you can get high quality 3D models for free and also how you can join the Sketchfab Treasure Chest Challenge and win some amazing prizes for yourself. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at a pretty cool update that is coming to Blender 3.0. Actually, it's right here in Blender 3.0 Alpha and it has to do with the USD importing and exporting feature. For those who like to take a look at this, you need to go over to the blender.org and go over to the daily build section where you can download 3.0 Alpha or you can go over to the experimental branch and you can see the USD importer branch right here. So of course, we've seen the exporter feature directly in Blender and today we're going to explore what the importer feature looks like, what and what you can get from it, and the entire big picture behind this. But before we proceed, what is USD? USD is a short form for Universal Scene Description and it is a framework for interchange of 3D computer graphics data that was created by Pixar. And this framework, unlike every other one that we've seen, actually focuses on collaboration, non-destructive editing, and enabling multi-views and opinions about a particular 3D graphic data at a given time. And unlike what we have with the FBX and Alembic, the USD scene allows you to collaborate and work with several artists at a given time on the same project. And this seems to be the future of 3D computer graphics data as we've come to know it. So this development is not new because sometime within the year we got to see where Francesco did a presentation about Blender USD importing and rendering alongside with Micah from Nvidia, Blaze J from Tangent Animation and also Ben from Riot. So for those who like to take a look at this, you may want to come through and download the PDF or you can watch the on-demand version that is right here. And sometime last year as well, we saw when this collaboration thing was coming together and it makes a lot of sense because the folks at NVIDIA have been working on the Omniverse and it is a real-time multi-GPU simulation and collaboration platform which actually allows for universal interoperability between different DCC apps. And Blender is not far from this as of course, if you go all the way down, you'd notice that Blender is part of the partners. So this makes sense and of course we are also expecting to see the Blender connector come over to Omniverse and this in turn would tie the whole thing around cycle. So if you would like to also get some downloadable scenes which you can test, you can go ahead and get this from here or you can simply take a look at what we already have. So with Blender simply open right here, we have the robot arm. So if I go in and press the playback button, you can see this robot arm that we've downloaded off Sketchfab. I'm also going to pull this link in the description so you can check it out and it's pretty, pretty nice. So exporting this is as simple as going over to file, go all the way to where you have export and click on the universal scene description. Now there's one thing to note that if you're exporting anything from here over to another DCC app, I would strongly suggest not to export it as USDC. As in most cases, other apps might probably not be able to interpret this. But then if you would like to export this as USDC and you plan to rip this back into Blender, this is not a problem. Now for every other thing that you need to do for your exporting feature, you may want to also consider taking a look at this. So for example, we'd like to export the animation. We don't have hair, so we don't need to turn that on. And if you're trying to export a selected part, then you can turn on selection. I'm going to keep the settings as render and then I'll just simply name this. So with that there, I'll hit the export button and export these bad boy out. Next thing which we need to do is to go in and import that USD. Then of course, it's worth keeping in mind that Blender currently doesn't export textures. For some reason, you don't get the textures out. To prove this, if we go over to the universal scene description and click and then click on the robot arm to import this, I'm just gonna make sure that I have the vertex color turned on just in case you know, to prove a lot of you guys wrong and then click on import. And once I import this and we go over to our shading view, you would notice that we just have it as blank as it is. And this is across the board. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're running this in Maya or back in Blender, this is exactly what you get. But for sure, the animation still lives here and every other thing still lives here. Now, let's take a look at importing this same thing that we exported from Blender over to Maya. So, with Maya simply opened as well, you'll notice that we already have the Omniverse connector right here. So from here, we can click on the import button or we can click on the open USD to open the USD. Now, if you go over to the robot section, you'd notice that we can't find this because we exported as USDC. So to fix this, we need to go back, open the project one more time and just simply make sure that we have all this ready to rumble and go over to file go over to export, export the universal scene description, and then instead of exporting this as USDC, I'm just going to go in and export this as arm.usd, make sure I have the animation checked, 
and then click on the word export and this is also going to go ahead and export all of this now if we jump back into Maya and I go back and forth you would notice that we have the arm um, the USD at this point I can proceed to click on open and this will take a look at the project and open it right here for us so you can now see what we have here so we can actually go through and take a look and if I press the playback button you would notice that this actually starts playing back very weirdly so what's causing this is because our playback speed is a bit too much so I'm just going to click and set this to 30 frames per second and click on save to save that bounce this all the way back press the playback button and of course you can see what we have now if you go in and turn on the shading you also notice that the shading doesn't also apply now most of you guys will be saying okay maybe the reason why this is happening like this is because we're using textures and we're not simply using shader colors directly from blender and that is actually not the problem so if we go all the way back and let's say I invoke a brand new scene and then with a simple cube like this, I'm just going to jump in and make a tiny edit. So with this here, if I go over to file, export, USD, and then I proceed to save this as new.usd and also make sure that I have the materials turned on, the normals, everything turned on and click on the word export. If we jump right back into Maya, you would also notice that these gets imported but for some reason we don't get to see the textures so let's go ahead and open this go over to our usd export new and click on open if we proceed to turn on our materials of course you would not be able to see this but then it is very visible that once you go over to your hyper shade which is maya material shading panel you can actually see the two materials that we have so if you would like to make changes to this you can now proceed to start making these changes directly from here so in this case i could say we'll like this particular one which is the second one to have a red channel of one zero and zero for both the green and also for the blue and if we go back to our viewports you can see it so blender currently exports your usd but then it doesn't export it with the textures but for the most part you'll be able to take a look at the materials or the shaders that it exports it on the other hand this is not the case once you're working with maya so for maya if you also go ahead and uh, you make a simple object like this we can proceed to export and once we click on export we can give it a given name so i'm just going to call this new 02 as a usd file you can actually see that right here that we'll have it as usd and then export this as a prop so once we export this and we jump back into blender we can import this particular model that we've exported by going over to file import usd and then select the new o2 and click on the import button to bring it right in so once i bring this right in and we choose to go around it you would see that will have our materials coming with it so up until this time if you're thinking about working with the usd directly with blender it is super cool it is nice it has almost everything that you want but then exporting your textures is actually something that you can't get right now and i think that is what the folks at blender and also nvidia will be working towards as this might potentially be a deal breaker for lots of people but either ways the omniverse is here and sooner than later we will be getting a blender connector for omniverse creators and also users so this is more like it for those who like to test out the omniverse or maybe you would like to go in and check out some of the universal scene descriptions that you can use or probably you're looking for a free model that you can use to test out the brand new usd support that is currently in blender you can simply jump over to sketchfab and take a look at some of the amazing models that you can get and for sure, if you like to get free models, you can simply go over to explore downloadables and take a look at a huge set of downloadable models that you can get and get started with it. And of course, it's worth mentioning that currently Sketchfab does have a community challenge known as Treasure Chest Challenge. And this comes with a couple of prizes and uh, you might want to also check this one out as well. This is more like it for those who like to take a look at some of the models that they can get or probably you would like to take a look at Nvidia Omniverse, explore it or you would like to read more on the USD support for importing and also rendering directly in Blender then link to this is going to be in the description so you can do well to take a look at this. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or 
for the next update. And until I see you guys again with your tutorial updates, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.